fingerlings. Hmm. Ah, all the us out of here. Oh, that seems to be it. Yes, it does seem real wrong when there's no magicals. So here it is. I feel better having Crow around, even though I'm not sure what he can do. Still, a useless sidekick is better than no sidekick. I, the fingerlings. I'm not saying he's useless. Um. So there's uh. Sanina. Hervin, Palain, Miral, Yana, David, Adam, Etat, and Pion. The fingerlings. April and Flax. This April. April and Flax. <laughs> that's, uh, that's funny. That's certainly quite funny. I would like to show, uh, see the show. Hello, Robert Clax. Roper Clax, I presume. He looks wizardly, as in how I expected wizards to look when I was ten. Mm -mm. I should probably go talk to Mr. Clax before his next show begins. Roper Clax, I presume. He looks if wizardly, you seek an autograph, as in you must how I expected wizards first. to look it's when I was ten. Today, only... No, sorry, I, I need to talk to you. Talk, hmm? Well, I only have a few minutes before my show begins, but I'm sure I can spare a couple of them for a pretty young thing like you. Um... This has to be the right man. Yes, you are the Clax, right? You are Roper Clax, right? The wizard? Who told you that? Well, that sign, for one. No, the, the wizard part. Who told you? I mean, uh, I'm merely a humble finger puppeteer trying to make an honest living in a cold and heartless world. <laughs> but you were a wizard once. Fully rehabilitated, I don't go anywhere near sorcery, not anymore. You should really read my highly acclaimed and best-selling memoir, <laughs> A Farewell to My Wizarding Ways. Oh, it's Robert a thrilling Blacks. story of redemption and romance, of dashing heroes and wicked villainesses, of flying castles and curious calculating devices. Yes, calculating Every devices. Every word of it as true as the night is dark and the day is bright, of course. <laughs> so, you knew April Ryan, right? Didn't he and April have some sort of confrontation? Do you remember April Ryan? April Ryan? Oh, yes, of course, absolutely, certainly, naturally, <laughs> a bit of... <clears throat> the brave young woman who came to my castle and stole you and helped me put my sorceress past behind me. That didn't oh, seem very... I possibly forget. <laughs> um, April continued. He's obviously got some issues with April. I'd be curious to learn more. Yes. So, about April. Why, why does everyone want to talk about April Ryan? She was just a weak little human who stumbled onto things she didn't... <coughs> <laughs> no, 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 I must apologize. You see, April and I had some disagreements in the past. I'm past that now. I'm a different person. <laughs> As for April Ryan, yeah, yeah, she suffered an ignoble death at the hands of our Azadi benefactors. What a shame. What a terrible, terrible shame. <laughs> so you have the fingerlings here? It's an odd name for a children's puppet show. The Fingerlings. Ah, uh, my beloved finger puppets, beloved by all children and critics alike. Gilbert Grutton of the Daily Mercurian called my show simply astonishing and wrote that it was quite impossible to look away. I couldn't believe my eyes and like a slow motion cart wreck. You see, the fingerlings represent a revolution in finger puppeteering, or as I call it, fingering, uh, trademark and patent <laughs> pending. The women in particular are quite ecstatic about it. 
to stay for the show. I guarantee a good time. I think I want to watch it if I can. But do you happen to know anything about a soul stone? I might as well get right to it, seeing as his show is about to begin. Do you recall owning a soul stone? A soul stone? I... I don't know what you're talking about. I was just wondering, since there are so many impressive tales about your powers where I come from. And where would that be? Um... That was a long time ago. In another life, I've moved on. I'm a different person now in every way. I was just wondering what happened to the stone. She took it, that bitch. April. Pardon me, I don't know where that came from. Who? The Yaga. The oh. wicked witch of the north, as these simpletons call her. As if they have any idea who and what she truly is. She lurks in Riverwood in the dark places she feeds on that stone like a... <laughs> like I said, that's in the past, and I've left it all behind long ago. Now I make an honest living bringing joy to children through my most excellent and revolutionary finger puppet theater. And on that note, I must beg your pardon, young miss. The show is about to begin. <laughs> Can we please talk again afterwards? I have some more questions. Uh, sure, sure, sure. Absolutely. After the show. After the show. Yes, 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 yes. Toodle. Toodle. I'll be watching at least what I can. Yes, here we go. <laughs> There's the dolls on the left there. This is gonna be so good. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, humans and. Humans. Well, humans. And you, Azadi soldier standing over there, you're welcome to watch. Just don't rattle your sabers or rustle your suits. Uh, welcome to this morning's performance of The Fingerlings. Uh, I am your host and puppeteer, <laughs> Rupa Clax, esteemed thespian and raconteur, author and entrepreneur. My book is available for purchase with a free personalized dedication. Speak to me after the show. A donation is both appreciated and expected. Drop your coins into the box after the show. Remember that every iron piece goes towards a good purpose. Woohoo! Go fingerlings! My beloved fingerlings! Handcrafted reproductions of renowned actors from across Arcadia, immortalized in finger puppet form by skilled artisans using only the finest fabrics and natural materials these lovely creatures are as dear to me as children and as talented and this protean as the finest human players <laughs> as well you're all welcome to approach the stage after the show of course to admire my finely crafted miniatures up close and intimately no food no touching no children no children. And now, beloved audience, prepare yourselves for a journey into mystery for a true story of wizardry and magic. I present to you the tale of the good-hearted wizard and the villainous <laughs> witch. Yes. Once upon a time in the distant north, there lived a kindly old wizard mm -hmm. in a wonderful flying castle. Totally. This That's very how it went. friendly wizard liked to tease and toy with the people of the land, and sometimes he would do silly things like uh, turn them into stone or furry animals and bottle up the wind. <laughs> Naturally, he meant no harm, and the people of the land loved the wizard like they would a grandfather, mm -hmm. a very young and very, very handsome grandfather. Mm -hmm. But one day, an evil sorceress April. from a distant <laughs> land came to visit the kindly wizard. Totally. This ugly, selfish witch didn't understand that the wizard was only trying to make people happy. She used her dark, 
sorcery to steal all of his possessions and trap him inside a tiny little box where the gentle wizard was barely able to breathe. The poor old man was trapped for many moons inside this box before a benevolent wandering god arrived to free him from his prison. Who oh, was this? The wizard pledged eternal allegiance to the wandering god in return for vengeance against the cruel witch who trapped him. Together they... There he is, Commander. The dangerous loon who's corrupting our youth with his occult fingerings. Oh, dear. What? What's this? What? What are you doing? What's going on? You can't... Aww. Hey! Hey, hands off! Poor Clax. You're teaching children of magic, old man. You ought to know better. Release me, you dishonorable brute! By the authority vested in me by the Greater Azadi Empire and the Emissary, and in accordance with provisional imperial law prohibiting any and all teachings of occult magic, I'm taking you into custody. <sighs> you can't do this! You don't know who I am! Tell it to the magistrate, wizard. My fingerlings! My precious handcrafted fingerlings! No! Poor Clax. No. Poor Clax. I cannot believe that they arrested him. What a travesty. Yeah, it really is. Oh, poor, poor, poor Clax. I didn't see that coming. I guess the Azadi aren't fans of creepy puppet shows either. I think it had more to do with him being a wizard. Okay, shit. So what now? He was my only lead to the Soul Stone. All I have to go on is something about a Yaga and Riverwood. Riverwood? I know Riverwood. I've been to Riverwood. If it's Riverwood you need, I know how to get to Riverwood. Really? And the Yaga? The Wicker Witch? I don't know anything about Yagas, but I do know something about witches in Riverwood. On my last trip there, we had a close encounter with one of them. Hmm. That witch is toast, of course, but I can probably find my way back to Riverwood. It's probably. north. We go north. Wait, which way is up? <laughs> yeah, north. Okay. Uh, okay. That's something, right? Much better than nothing. We yes. just need a way to get north that doesn't involve me walking all the way. Or me flying. I'm not flying all that way. I tire easily. Aww. Wait. I feel a cunning plan coming on. Follow me, Zoe. Oh. Uh-oh. It's either a cunning plan or I need the toilet. But I'm pretty sure it's a cunning plan. Well, that would be preferable. Ooh. Well, to the river route then. Don't think that we've ever actually been able to visit there before. So that should be interesting. Oh. <laughs> I still can't believe you pulled off the voice and the whole fake hand thing. The hat looked great on you. Uh, totally. Uh, not so sure about the beard though. My face is itchy. Speaking of faces, I can never show mine in Mercuria again. Not after that last bit we did. If everything goes well, you won't have to. At least we have a ride. Can I trust this thing? They're docile cows, the Elguan. Just leave it to me. Quite uh, interesting. Mush Daisy, mush. Mush Whoa, Daisy, I think mush. You're upsetting her. <laughs> I'll, uh, I'll leave the cowgirling to you. I'll fly ahead and scout the terrain instead. Okay. Don't lose sight of me. All right, hey, this is pretty sweet, though. Going and leaving this way around. That is pretty sweet, that is pretty sweet. And you even said that you wouldn't be driving these things. Mm. Uh, how much longer will this journey take? Must be nearly a week now. It's been less than two days, and I'm beginning to regret bringing you along. You're stuck in the cargo hold of a cloud ship with your worst enemy. How could you possibly have any regrets? And people say you have no sense of humor. Hmm, totally. I'm sure you guys have had a plenty of fun time being stuck here together and everything. For sure. Kian and Liko, for sure. Yes, great. We're on a mission. This is neither the time nor place to make peace with Liko. We already fight side by side. 
That's our bond. Besides, I'm tired. If there was ever a time to make peace with Liko, this is likely it. Maybe there's still a chance to create a bond between us. I kind of agree with what he said with the sleep, that they already fight together. That is a bond. That might be bond enough. I could still apologize as well, though. So, I shall do that. I'm sorry about your father. I know that may not amount to much now, but I was a different person then. I was blind to the possibility that there could be more than one truth. There's been so much death on the road to this place. I murdered an innocent man during my escape from Friar's Keep. He begged me to, but I still don't know if I did the right thing. When I visited his widow, she only had hate for me. She couldn't understand my reasons for doing what I did. I watched Balse Bakim bleed to death so that I could make my escape through a blood magic portal. I still wonder if his sacrifice was worth it. Have I repaid that debt? Shepard believes so. But many thought him a better man than I, so why did he have to die? What did I gain from these actions? What did it change? What would have been different had I acted differently? All of these choices, Liko, they add up. My soul is heavy. The others believe me unaffected because I carry on as if nothing happened. But their faces and voices are there when I close my eyes. Those deaths never leave me. No words can undo these deeds. There are no excuses for the wrongs I've committed. But I am trying to heal the wounds I've inflicted. It's a long journey, Liko. And I know. When you arrived from Friar's Keep, I wanted you dead. Really? I couldn't tell. <laughs> and people say you have no sense of humor. Mm -hmm. They do? We've been through much since then. I believe I know you. A little. You've taken up arms against your own people, risking shame, death, and your immortal soul. Because you believe they're misguided. And it cannot be easy being hated and feared by both sides. I may still despise you because you murdered my father. I may still dislike you because you're an arrogant and intolerant shit. Mm -hmm. But I respect you, Kian. And I trust you. Uh, get serious, I guess, and not make light of the situation. Rather, nonetheless. That trust goes both ways, Liko. Well, I'm taking a nap. This half of the hold is mine. Stick to your side. <laughs> I may stab you in my sleep. Yes. Don't worry. I've no intention of cuddling up next to you. I think there's a good to be the serious side, even if then it goes back to the jumping and... Kian, are you awake? I wasn't. This has now changed. Did I ever tell you how my society views people like us? I don't believe so. The Dole and Tiqua consider themselves tolerant and inclusive in all matters. And yet I've always had to hide who I am from my family and friends. Hmm. If they knew the truth, I'd be ostracized. Tolerance, it seems, has its limits. But in the resistance, no one cares. This thing we share... It doesn't change how they feel about us. It's strange. Strange, but liberating. Mm. With the resistance, you are who and what you decide to be. Regardless of color and creed, gender and religion, and... I thought you loved April Ryan. I did. I do, but... Not like that. She was someone I cared deeply about and always will. But I could never have shared my life with her. Hmm. I still miss her every day. She gave me strength. Ah, I'm going back to sleep. We have a long day ahead of us tomorrow. A day of sitting in the dark, bickering about who passed gas? <laughs> like I said, 
a long, long day. day. Yes, a long, long day. But as soon as I think that that scene is made pretty well, considering something you unlock, it's not like he's always going to talk about it. But this time I think we are going to stop here. So thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed and see you next time.